March 7th. Today's scripture. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. And plead the case of the widow. Isaiah 1 verse 17, the New International Version. Today's guide. When preparing for today, think about the following. Right and just. What is our role? Food for thought. Deep sorrow can be a heavy burden that weighs on our hearts when faced with difficult circumstances or tragedy. During these times, it can often seem like there's no hope left in this world. But even so, God calls us to remember those around us who may need help more than we do. He reminds us not only to offer comfort when possible, but also to advocate for those in need. When facing grief or pain in life, it's easy to become overwhelmed with self-pity or doubt. Yet despite such feelings, God still invites us into his presence. He invites us to serve others. In this way, we can find healing, hope, and our hearts renewed, as he did before going to the cross. Spending time in the Word and growing closer to him, we receive answers about how to handle tough situations, trials others have faced, and grow insights into his heart, all while remaining obedient. The Bible can be a source of comfort, strength, guidance, and reassurance. It is filled with reminders on how to do what is right and just in the eyes of God. Today we are reminded that our responsibility as Christians is to seek justice, defend those who can't defend themselves, take up the cause of the fatherless, and plead for the widows. This reminder from Scripture encourages us to look beyond ourselves and care for those who are alone and hurting during times of grief. You never know what kind of impact your words or actions can make. Gratitude Today, where can you find gratitude for life, gratitude for those around you, and gratitude for His Word? How can you find gratitude in healing and serving others? Today's prayer Lord, help me spend more time in Your Word so I know how to do what is right and just. Show me Your ways to care for those who are alone and hurting even amid my sorrow and pain. Amen.